I thought it was going to get better. I thought it was going to, you know, heal like any other bone you break. Um, it wasn't until later that, you know, I kind of came to the conclusion that, wow, I'm never going to walk again. Uh, it was heavy. On January 12th, 1994, uh, it was nine days after my 14th birthday. Um, I was getting ready for basketball practice with um, my friend um, and next door neighbor at the time. The door flew open and it was my neighbor from across the street. His name was Brian. Tackled my friend Sean and said, where the hell is Kevin? And he reached behind his back and grabbed a nine millimeter handgun. Um, at that point, I ran, he fired his gun one time, missed, chased me through my house, and he fired his gun again, and it hit me in my neck, hitting my C5-6 vertebrae, paralyzing me from the chest down. So, because of my love of Joe Montana, um, when he was traded to the Chiefs in 93, um, really upset. I was bitter. I was like, <laughs> didn't like Steve Young. He kicked my guy out. And um, so I just came with Joe to Kansas City. And that was it. And um, it was an easy transition. I just went to the Chiefs. That's my team now. Yeah, it's been that way for 28 years now. I remember him telling me, I hate the 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> How could they trade Montana? Well, with what happened yesterday, uh, kind of, I was kept in the dark on a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I really wasn't aware of what was happening behind the scenes. Um, I knew that we were going to come to the game, and I knew that we were going to have a tour today, and maybe meet a player or two. Um, I didn't know of all the stuff that, would, that was going to happen. And um, it was pretty overwhelming. I mean, I'm a pretty even-keeled guy most of the time. And um, I don't show a ton of emotion a lot. Um, and I, I probably wasn't showing the excitement I had, but I, I mean, it was butterflies all day long. <laughs> and it was just one surprise after the next, and one amazing thing after the next, the generosity of the organization and just rolling out the VIP red carpet. And it was, uh, I'll never forget it. I mean, I'll never forget it. One of the major parts of the story is that I ultimately came to forgive Brian. And that was huge for me. And it wasn't for him, it was for me. Um, it was for my healing. He can take it and do with what he wants with it. Um, but I just had to know that in my heart, I had forgiven him. And, I, and I'm okay with my life. I'm happy. Uh, there's been times in my life that have been very, very dark not having anything to do with him and I would come over to take care of him and and I would just feel like my heart had lightened and I started calling him my sunshine and I said uh, you're my sunshine Kevin <laughs> he said no you're mine <laughs> so well first you have a purpose my foundation is Christ and God and so I have I have a hard time, you know, explaining anything without that being my base. But I would just say, don't give up. Don't ever give up. Things are gonna happen, keep fighting. There's gonna be hard times. There's gonna be difficulties. But just know that um, things get better, you know? Things get better. <laughs>